Hello everybody, Tommy Tron here. Welcome back to Lag Shield Gaming. Today I'm playing some Mountain Blade Warband. Actually, I'm playing a mod for Warband. It's called The Reckoning and recently I've only noticed it and I've only looked at the trailers. It's been looking amazing and if you don't know what the game Warband was, Mountain Blade Warband, it's a medieval warfare game using swords, you got knights, all that stuff. This game has completely changed it. It's changed it to a survival game. We've got guns, there's zombies, there's helicopters, it's, honestly, this mod has changed so much, and it's actually going to look actually pretty amazing. This, this menu screen, this, this has changed completely well, it's been revamped for everything, it's the music, it actually suits really well. I've been looking forward to play this game, this menu is uh, more or less the same actually, but with these, this is the loading screen I think, yeah. This has all been changed, and I think it's pretty amazing that a mod has done all of this, you've got whole dynamic menu screen which this the original game didn't have so I've really want to play this so I guess we should just jump straight into it actually so let's just uh, wake up so yeah this game as I mentioned before it's been completely changed it's now a survival game with zombies it used to be a game where you're a single person but a leader and you can slowly recruit more and more troops and kind of progress through a through like tiers of ranks through the um, castles and factions and you'd slowly get more and more high up in the ranks and factions and you'd be able to slowly take over more um, castles and then you'd be able to actually claim them as your own and create your own faction but this game this is completely different um, this has all been post-apocalyptic I think it's based in 2019 so it's actually going to be quite a different experience and I can't wait to play so you slowly awake you were dreaming of a life before go back to sleep what was what's the point in that you just woke up <laughs> you slowly awake you hear the pitter patter of rain on the I mean look at this dynamic sound this was never in the previous game continue you are sheltering 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 in an abandoned car no, wait, that's not right. Oh. <laughs> okay, you're sheltering in an abandoned car. Continue. Before the outbreak, you were a... Uh... Oh, this is cool. This is a list. So in the previous game, you could choose kind of your life before, and it could give you starting stats and weapons. So I'm guessing this is going to do the same. So was I a country policeman? A security guard at the mall? A teacher at a local school? Doctor at a town hospital? The owner of a small shop? Now... I want to choose one that kind of suits me a little, um, I'm not sure, I don't think a doctor suits me, oh no, I'm not really good with ownership to be honest guys, <laughs> um, teacher, I think, oh it says county, not country, oh god, sorry guys, um, <laughs> county policeman or security guard at the mall, I actually, no, I think I will actually go for teacher at a local college, I think, I think that would be quite a cool one to go, it's maybe not close to me, but I still think it's quite a nice uh, profession, I guess, to have. Life was good, you were happy. Not bad, you managed, wasn't good, money, I, I, I was happy. I, I think I would have had a happy life being a teacher. Most of your family died during the outbreak, oh Jesus. No, all you have left is your son, your daughter, is the family dog, your trusty rifle, oh. Oh, I think my family dog, I mean, I kind of want, uh, you know, an actual daughter or son, which would be quite nice to have your actual own family, but a dog, I'm a dog person, I have to go for the dog, my dog's been there for me, honestly, guys, it, oh, I gotta go with the dog, called Ellie, oh, <laughs> gives me pre-named things, Ellie, Jamie, Alex, or Sam, I like Ellie, I think Ellie's nice. You have lost all family and have nothing left but your dog. But despite that, this, uh, despite this, you are a man and you've managed so far. Woman and you've managed. I'm gonna be a man. I wanna be a man. What will the game saving policy be? Realistic quitting. Ah, so this is the same thing that you're asked uh, before in the uh, vanilla game. So yeah, allow me to quit without saving just in case I <laughs> make some stupid decisions. I think it'll be quite good. Now you enter the name, your name, and distribute your attributes. Okay, so this is the same as before. We enter a name, all the things. I hear the same path of power draw. Yeah, these look all basically same. 
the background's definitely changed heaps though, so I kind of like to be well balanced. I'll put a bit of strength in. Intel's always nice to have. I think going Intel because that actually gives me extra points down here as well. Iron Flesh, yep, that gives me strength. I mean health. Power Strike, yep, damage. Power Draw, let's characters use puff with bows. So I'm not sure how this is going to relate to um shooting with the guns I've seen in games so in the trailers so I'm just gonna kind of do what I um, usually do in most games I need better trades always good prison management you don't know what you're gonna find engineering might be good first aid surgeon wound treatment I like to get a bit of wound treatment pathfinding that's I would have maxed it out anyway uh, tracking yeah trainer I think trainer will be good for skill horse archery they'll be shooting I think Looting, looting will definitely be good in a survival survival um, scenario. Power draw, I think I want at least a little bit of power draw, so I can use these basic bows. Yeah. Uh, what am I? Oh, fire on six six six. Okay. Okay, let's go with. I kind of like two handed actually. I put a bit in both. Can I? Ah, right. Enter a name. What should my name be? Um, let's just go with Roger. You might know that name from a book, but I really like that name, so I'm just going to go with it. Just your character's face. You know what? I can totally see him. Totally. I think this might be a bug. I might have to stay about to fix it. Let's just... Yeah, I'm gonna go try to fix it. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Uh, just a simple quick fix. It's a well-known bug on the website. It's a simple fix. So let's just get straight back into it. So got a character customization here of Roja. This, yeah, that's not a bad. That's some. <laughs> um, so that's a bit of. That's, that's a bit more than some hair. It's got a nice stat. I don't know what's up with this hollow thing. It might be another texture issue. I'll see if I can fix it when I jump in, but I can see the general layout of the hair. So, I'll just go off that for now. Oof, that's a bit bushy. Oof. I, I don't want anything but hair, you know? You know, that's just a bit weird. But you want to somewhat say, I'm a survivor and I'm badass. And it doesn't look like there's an option for me. So, shit. Uh, um, but just, just a, just a, just a nice dash. I, I don't know what to go for. I don't know what to go for. Maybe a manly stash like that. Manly bin. Hmm. Hmm. How about this guy's hair? Oh, oh, I don't want to go bold. Uh, I don't want to go there either. That's a bit too, it's a bit long for me. It's a bit long for my liking. <laughs> oh, I should go with Mohawk. Nah. Yeah, this is a nice suit up. Suit up. Suit it up. Hairstyle, got the hair pulled back. Nice. Stuff like this. It's a bit shaggy there. So what's this? Like, the colour looks a bit more fuller. I don't know. Maybe it's a texture issue. Maybe... I'll see if I can fix it in a game. It's not actually too bad. Maybe it's just the angle I'm looking at it from. I'm sure, I'm sure I won't notice it when I get in. But, uh, that's just, that seems too layered. I thought that looked good. Seemed too layered. Uh, that seems too... Okay, we're back here. Um, I'm going to go for something that's neat, but also a bit... Yeah, just go with that. Why not? Why not? Why not? Search the hair color. Oh, look at that deep holographic ginger. Mm. Gotta go ginger. If you can go ginger, you gotta go ginger. Oh. Actually, no, I don't like that hair. No, 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 no. I uh, go for that. Yeah, I like it tied back. Still look manly, I reckon. <laughs> uh, let's just go with that. I kind of just think leave the face the same. And I think they'll be alright. Let's get back into it. Uh, cannot press the done button. There it is. Okay. You can't sleep. The rain is ridiculous. It crashes against the window. You are beginning to regret your decision to take shelter here. By your estimation, you can't be far from 
Camp Bastion, the base of operations for the U.S. Army. Oh. Well, there goes appears to rain noise. Over the noise of pouring rain, even though it just disappeared, you hear something. A noise which makes the hairs of your neck stand thin on end. Oh, God. The familiar blood-curdling moan of an infected. You grab your weapon and venture outside. So, I guess we're jumping straight into it. I'm not sure what it's going to look like. Um, oh. This looks pretty cool. Uh, what am I actually holding? Let's go cinematic here. I've got a nice... Oh, yes. Roja, the survivor. Got a nice, nice suit. What's... Oh, God. How do I... Ah! That's not the right button. Um, is it coming towards me? Is it... I can't run. Doesn't look like I can do anything. Oh, my God. Yeah, wasn't ready for that. Oh, God. Let's go first person. Oh, God. Ha, ha, ha. Jesus, go back at me. Oh, that sounds quite funny. It sounds like Half-Life Zombies. Okay, let's keep going. Keep going! Killed by Redneck. What? Oh, this is a survivor. Hello, my friend. Can I pause you there for a second? Thank you. I want to change my video options. So yeah, this use depth effects was the one that I had to change off. So if you guys want to follow along or play, and you're getting that overlaying... Oh, dear. You're getting that overlaying... Uh, issue. Let's uh, so just use this depth effect. Just turn it off and it should be fine. Hold it right there. You get bit? Hmm. I guess not. It's not safe in these parts anymore. Follow me. I have a small cabin on the outskirts of the US Army base. The traveler takes you a couple of miles to his cabin. Sweet. So we're getting straight into this. This is actually really exciting. Um, so yeah, I know how to fire guns now. Oh, that was an interesting. Camera mode, ap apocalyptic view, press enter key to change. Oh, okay. What is, whoa, over the shoulder mode. That is cool. It's quite a cinematic. Wait, oh! I can change, this is hex. Oh, so you can make nice, like. Huh. Is that a unicorn? Unicorn. Is that a bloody unicorn? Hold on. Um. Yeah, I like default. No, no, it's not a unicorn. It was his ear. Oh. I'm less excited now. Damn it. I was. Oh. A free, a freed slave. You say. A freed slave. Hmm. You can feel the freedom now. Shut up. Okay. Kajun! Hey, good doggy! Oh, is that my doggy? I don't know. Where's my... Oh, Some cash! Can I take this cash? Can I... Ha <laughs> I love how you jump a... What? Okay. You. Surrender or die! Make your choice! I am not afraid of you! I will fight! I think this might be a, another bug. Oh, God. God damn it. Oh. Ah. Uh. Hello there. Just, just... J <laughs> What's your arm doing? What's your arm doing? Oh, God. What are you... What? You're sitting on your coffee. What? Hello there. Surrender or die. Make your... Ch yeah, I think this might be a slight broken... Oh, uh, oh, uh, no, no, this game, surrender or die, yep. Oh, they're probably going to say surrender or die, aren't they? 